Today we're going to do a little mini workout for people who have issues with your knees and ankles. So let's begin. We're going to start, of course, with our core because that's what we do with Pilates. So first we're going to lay all the way down. We're going to place our hands down to our sides. And we're going to go into tabletop. We're just going to do some quick little toe touches. Touch and touch and touch and touch and touch. If you feel like you're getting any foot cramps or anything like that, a lot of people with ankle issues get foot cramps with this one. So you can just stop and go back like this. But we're just going to do five more. And one. And two. And three. If you're having trouble keeping the your your back from arching, then try tucking in your ribs. That'll usually help a lot. And make sure that your chin is parallel, or I should say, make sure that your chin is pointed toward the ceiling. And that seems about right. So I'm already warmed up, so I'm going to take off my shirt. Take off my sweatshirt. Curl that all the way up. And next thing we're going to do is we're going to do the 100. Now, if you have lower back issues, um, in addition to your knees and your ankles, then you can continue with the toe touch or you can go like this. Um, another thing that we can do, and this is also something that uh, will help you in the long run, is try to make sure that you tuck your ribs in, really press down your hands, and then do whatever version of the 100 you think is best. Now we can start just right here, and we can just hold that and bring it all the way down. Or we can bring our arms up and bring it down. Or we can bring it up and we can do our standard 100. And inhale and exhale. And inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Now if this feels good, you can bring your legs up toward the ceiling. Keep that head, your head up and make sure that you're extending the back of your neck here and don't try to touch your chin to your chest. That's really not any good. You don't want to torque your neck out. So we're going to keep that. Your feet are going to go up toward the ceiling and inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Now if this feels good, you can bring your legs down a bit and we're just going to do three more sets of this. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Now let's bring it all the way in. We're going to bring our knees into our chest. A little back and forth, just a little bit. Now keep in mind this is a beginner workout. If you're a little bit uh, more advanced than this, then you probably already know what to do to um, to make variations and modifications. So we're not going to really get into that too much. So just keep in mind this is mostly about knees and ankles today. So we're going to bring our hands right back down and we're going to get into some knee strengtheners right away. So we're going to point and we're going to bring it down. And then we're going to point and we're going to bring it down. Now let's get into the tabletop to make it a little more difficult. Get into those abs, point and in. As you can probably hear, my knees are making lots of fun little crunchy noises because I, of course, have had knee injuries in the past. And actually, I've only injured one knee, but the other knee has gone crunchier than the injured knee because it spent so much time making up for uh, weakness in the other knee. So now I have two crunchy knees. <laughs> and that's how that works. And lift. And lift. So a lot of times when you have pain in your knees and your ankles, it's often a flexibility as well as a strength issue. So whenever we're doing any kind of stretch, we're also going to add some kind of an exercise or a flex. All right, now let's bring it all the way down. We're going to bring it all the way in. We're going to roll up and we're going to do some spine stretch forward. And start getting into that flexibility. Bring your legs up a little bit wide. Sit up as straight as you can. If you have difficulty with this, you can sit on a pillow or you can 
use a foam roller or whatever it is. Uh, a lot of people, if you like yoga, you can use a block and you just sit like this or you can use a towel or whatever. And just lift up as high as you can and then roll it over and then stack your spine up as high as you can. Now the important thing is, is that you don't want your spine to tuck under like that. You want to sit up as straight as you possibly can. So really use those abs to pull it all the way in. Use those hip muscles. You should be feeling this right here. And up, inhale, exhale. Hold, three, two, one, and stack your spine right back up. You can bring your arms up if you want to. I'm actually used to bringing my arms up. And bring it forward and roll. And then stack it up. And arms here or up here, depending on how you feel about your shoulders. And then we bring it forward. Hold. And roll it on up. You know, depending on who you are, um, you're going to feel this in all different places. Some people will feel this in your hips. Some people are going to feel this in the back of your knees. All that good stuff. So don't worry about it. Everybody's different. And um, now we're going to do a couple more. But this one I want you to really think about your knees and your thighs. So on the way down, inhale. First we'll start here. Inhale. And we're going to exhale. Bring it all the way down. And really pull your kneecaps back with your quads. This should straighten your legs out even more. And we're going to hold and bring your abs back toward your spine. Really pull them up and back. And we're going to roll it back up. Arms forward or all the way up. Whichever you prefer. And we're going to do that again. And bring it forward. Pull those kneecaps back. Straighten those legs out. And as you can feel, this is a very active stretch. And now we're going to roll it back up. All the way up. And drop those shoulders. All right. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to do so just a little more core, and we're going to do the um, some of the uh, the ab series. So we're going to start here, and if you if you feel like this is hard on your neck, that's fine. You can have your head down, but if you can, when you bring your head all the way up, so let's extend one leg. Got a nice stretch going here. And then you're going to pull this leg in. I want you to really feel this. And then we're going to switch and 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 switch. Last one. Bring it all the way in. Now we're going to do a little stretch and we're going to bring it all the way out. You can bring your legs up high or you can bring it down here. It doesn't bother me either way. And then we're going to bring it down to a T and then we're going to bring it in and stretch and then lift out and hold on. This is hard. You can, again, bring your head down, down to a T and you can bring it on in and stretch. Now we're going to do some uh, scissors. So your foot is going to go up here. One leg is going to go up here. Now you can grab it here, wherever it is, it's good for you, however flexible you are. And then I want you to pull, pull, switch, pull, pull, switch, pull, pull. And you might feel like one side is stretchier than the other, totally normal, but we want to even that out. So that's why we're doing this. And switch, 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 switch. And let's bring it all the way in and roll all the way up. And we're going to sit up again. We're going to sit as straight as we can. And we're going to look to one side and to the other. And to the other. And to the other. All right, so I switched the camera angle because I want you to be able to see what I'm doing with my legs. And it's a little hard to see it from the angle over there. So, um,. First thing we're going to do is we're going to get on our side and we're going to bring our hand under our head. If this is hard on your neck, then you can bring your head down. That's totally fine. And then you're going to bring this hand in front of you and we're going to do hip blasters. So we've already been working the front of our core. Now we're going to start working the back of our core. We're going to start getting into our lower back 
and into our glutes. Now glutes are really important for knee strength. So this is, these are, this is a very important series of exercises. So let's start by bending the knees in and then we're gonna roll forward, okay? Stretch this leg out. Make sure that you're really Brought, bring your hip as far forward as you can, so you're really using this leg as a platform. Now you're going to bring this foot down and lift it up and back as high as you can. And bring it down, and bring it up, and back. And then down. And three. And four. And five. And six. And seven. And eight, and nine, and ten. Now you should really feel this here, okay? So now we're going to change the exercise a little bit. We're going to roll over so we're back on our side. Now you can choose to keep your knee like this if uh, you need a little extra stability. Otherwise, bring your legs out to a boomerang shape and rest on your foot more than anything else. Now we're going to lift this leg parallel, and we're going to bring it forward and back forward and back. Now try to bring that leg back as far as you can. Try to get stretches out of this. Now again, these are active stretches. You're trying to stretch. Now, personally, I'm feeling this here and a little bit here. Now you might feel this in entirely different spots and that's totally fine. But I want you to you know, think about where are you feeling this. Now I know I'm feeling this back here because I have uh, occasionally gotten sciatica on that side. Um, so it's just a, a matter of stretching that out and keeping it active and I'm just fine. All right, so that seems like it's about right. It's about 10. And now we're going to, if you can, leave that leg hovering and we're going to do some little circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And forward, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now, this next one, you have to have your knees bent. So if your knees are already bent, great. Um, and then we're going to place our feet on top of each other here, and we're going to open up for clams. And two. Now, it's really important that your body stays nice and still. So use those core muscles. So I don't want to, you know, when you're doing this exercise, really be aware of how you're using your body. So when you lift your leg open, you know, don't, don't move your torso around. It's really important. All right, let's do three more. One. And two. And three. Now you should feel a burn here. Um, and uh, if you're not, great, good for you. That means that you have nice strong hips. Um, and if you um, aren't feeling it very much, then my suggestion is to do it again for two more sets. So, of course, you can do you can stop the video here if you want to and do two more sets, or you can wait till the end of the video and do do some more. So, again, we're going to bring it on down. Head is going to go under our hand is going to go under our head, and then we're going to bring our legs into that boomerang shape, and we're going to bend our knees. So, remember this one, you need that lower leg as a platform. Hand here, you're gonna bring that leg out, lean that hip forward. So, you can you see how I'm leaning? Like, this is how I started, and this is how I'm ending. Now, we're gonna keep that hip down. You, should, you might feel a little stretch in your other hip. And we're going to bring it down, and lift it up as high as you can. Bring it down, and lift, and two, and three. And four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and ten. All right. Now, if you want to, you can keep this knee like this. And remember, we did this before. We're going to get you into that boomerang shape. And now you're going to lift that leg up so it's hovering parallel to the floor. And forward and back. Now get those stretches. And three. And four. And five. Now again, don't let your don't let your torso do this, okay? Keep it as still as you can. You if you can you have to use your hand, that's totally fine. Okay? If if you have enough uh, core strength that you can lift your arm, close up. 
Um, but don't worry about it, okay? You know, just do your best and really push yourself. All right, this seems like it's about 10. So now we're going to keep that leg hovered, okay? And we're going to go forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, now we're going to do those clams. So you're going to bring those knees in if they're not already. And then we're going to open. And one. And two. Now we're really trying to get into this muscle here. You should feel it working. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. All right, let's bring it all the way back up. Right, I hope that felt really good. And let's get a little stretch. So we're gonna we're gonna do the we're gonna do the saw. So we're gonna sit up straight. Now again, if you um, if it's hard for you to sit up straight, um, you can sit on a towel or just lift your bottom up a little bit. That's fine. Um, you're gonna bring your arms out like this, and then you're gonna twist. You're gonna bring your pinky finger to your pinky toe. If you have, if you're pretty flexible, you can also kind of do something like this. So you can hold on your ankle and lift your hand so it's up toward the ceiling. Your palm should be toward the ceiling. I don't know if you can see that. Three, four, five. Now we're gonna lift. Nice straight back. Twist and bring it down. Lift that back arm and really pull so that you're getting a nice twist. Good. And bring it up. And over, we're just gonna do this two more times. Just we're just kind of trying to get stretched out after that last one. Now lift and forward, and do a little bounce if you're not very if you're not very uh, flexible. A little tiny bounce is okay. Don't do big bounces though, because you could hurt yourself. One, two, three, lift, and one, two, three. And we'll lift. So we're also going to do uh, another little stretch here. We're going to do our hips because right now we've uh, we've never really gotten to do our adductors very much. And our adductors are very, very important. So um, especially for knee strength. So we're going to bring our feet together and we're going to press our elbows out like this. And just bring yourself forward. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And lift. Wrap those shoulders, get those those shoulders away from your ears. Then we're gonna bring our elbows out, and we're gonna bring it down. And inhale. Exhale. And inhale. Never forget to breathe when you're doing Pilates. It's important stuff. And inhale. And exhale. And let's lift. So. So next thing I want us to work on, this is uh, really great for your ankles and for your, your hips and for your glutes, are squats. Now a lot of you probably have problems with squats. Uh, you can't get all the way down, you're afraid you're going to hurt your knee, things like that. So um, if you have a, a band, this is a cloth band, but you can use any band really. I mean you can use one of these, this is a, like an exercise band I've tied together. You can use um, one of those small ones, the little thin ones. Um, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I just use, I just like this one. So I'm going to use this one. And what we're going to do is we're going to put that, whatever it is, right above your knees. I also like um, these for when I'm using this with clients because if you're a guy, uh, the cloth ones are, uh, will prevent uh, you from pulling the hair out of your legs. So the rubber ones might hurt a little bit. You're going to bring your arms out like this. You're going to keep your heels on the ground and you're going to bring yourself all the way as far down as you can and don't lift your heels so now try to keep your back straight you're going to bring it down 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 right about here don't go any further than this especially if you have knee issues and then i just want you to lift up so keep those heels on the ground and if you're you should be feeling little stretches probably in the back of your heels if you've got ankle issues and you should be feeling a nice little burn starting in here the more that you do now, for those of you with more severe knee problems, I want you to find a chair. 
The rest of you keep on doing those squats. Don't stop. So those of you who have who really can't even go down that far, then what I want you to do is to find a chair. And I want you to just bring yourself down to the chair and lift. And down to the chair and lift. So what this does is it gives you a goal to some degree. It can be a higher chair than this. That's totally fine. Um, but it gives you a nice goal and you can bring yourself lower and lower and lower until you're in a full squat. So it, it uh, kind of adds a nice uh, progression to your exercises. Um, another thing that you need to consider while you're doing this, and uh, if you're, you know, you can stop doing your squats now, because this is more like a teaching moment. Now, if you've got knee issues or ankle issues, you probably lean to one side when you do your squats. And that's a kinetic chain issue. So if you're, or and, and sometimes it's just because you're very, very right-handed or very, very left-handed. So when that happens, when you're coming down, you're probably going to stick one hip out more than the other. So what you should do is when this is over, go find yourself a full-length mirror and really look at yourself as you're going up and down. And if you feel like, if you think you're sticking one hip out, what you should do is you should really try to, to tuck your hip in. So really try to stick the other hip out a little bit more and use those glutes, bring it down, and then lift. And then go down as far as you can. And most people, there's a point where they can't help but stick their hip out. Usually it's like right about here or so, something like that. And just keep on trying to push that hip over like that as you bring it on up. You're going to find that you are leaning on one leg more than the other. So we'll work on that in an, another video. Next thing we're going to do are some quad stretches. Now, if you have very stiff knees, then this is the exercise I want you to do. You're going to bring your, hips, your fists together, and then you're going to just kick. You're going to do single leg kicks. So you're going to go kick, kick, and with the other one, kick, kick, and kick, kick, and kick, kick. Okay. Now, if you have very stiff knees, you're going to feel this in your thighs. Some people, you won't feel this at all, and that's totally fine. So, all of those who, who have very stiff knees and who cannot do this, grabbing your foot, that is the exercise I want you to continue with. Those of you who can grab your foot, bring your hand like this to begin with, and just hold it. You're just going to hold it there. If you need to bring your knee out a little bit wider, that's fine. We're just going to hold it for a little bit. I'm going to inhale. And exhale. Whenever you exhale, I want you to drop your shoulders. Inhale. And exhale. One more breath. Inhale. And exhale. All right, we're going to release now. And we're going to do the other side. So hands going to be across here. You're going to grab onto that, the, the top of your foot. Bring your knee out wider if you need to. And we're going to just hold and get that stretch. And we're going to breathe three times until we feel a little bit of a release. Inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. All right, we're going to switch sides again. Now, so this time, I want you to hold on the top of your foot again, and I want you to bring your knee in towards your other knee. The other leg should be straight out behind you, and we're going to hold, and you're going to really try to touch your heel to your bottom if you can. So, bring that all the way in, and inhale, and exhale. Now, you'll notice that I'm sitting up a bit. I'm using my arm to help me lift up. That's because I'm trying to... Uh, also, while I'm doing the stretch, I am also exercising these muscles right here. It's just a gentle kind of a flex, but I want you to feel that as well. If you feel like you're getting a cramp, you can stop and you can bring your head down, though. Okay, that's totally fine. And inhale. And exhale. All right, let's switch sides. And bring that up. Bring that knee in. Close to the other knee if you can. And let's inhale. And exhale. 
and inhale, push up with this arm, drop your shoulders, and exhale, and inhale, and exhale. Really pull that foot in, try to touch that heel to that bottom, inhale, and exhale. All right, we're going to give yourself a little rest. We're actually going to do a little more of that in a second. Now, lift yourself up into, into your all fours, and then we're just going to do a quick little child's pose. And if this is hard for you, you know, don't try to sit on your heels. You don't have to go that far down. Even if you just go to here, that's fine. If you want to get a little more into your lower back, more of a lower back stretch, you can bring your knees out a little bit wider, but that also means you're going to get more of a knee stretch. And let's bring that back together and stretch. And if you want to get into your, if you want to stretch between your shoulder blades, just keep pulling those arms forward. And you'll feel that. And you should also feel that in your lats as well. And let's bring it back. Okay, we're going to do a little more of that exercise that we just did. Okay. So this one is for, now you can either stop here. You don't have to do this particular part if you've already, if you have very stiff knees, just don't do this part yet. Um, if your knees are starting to get a little better, then you can grab onto that foot and push that hip into the mat, okay? We're going to start getting into your hip flexors. Now, this is going to get really way into your, um, into your quadriceps and your upper thigh. So, inhale and exhale. Push that hip into the mat. Inhale and exhale. Push. Make sure that your hips are evenly across the mat. There's an even weight between two hips. Inhale. And exhale. All right, let's do that one more time on the other side. And let's inhale. Exhale. Push that hip into the mat. Inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. All right, let's release. We're going to do one more child's pose. Good. Now we're going to do some cat cows. So we're going to get on all fours and we're going to arch. And then we're going to sway. And arch. And sway. And arch. If this is hard on your knees, you can put a cushion underneath your knees if you need to, some towels or something like that. Alright, so, um, our, there we go. Alright, so now our last um, stretch and exercise is going to be the roll down. So, we're going to start by having our feet right underneath our hips, maybe a little wider, that's fine. And we're going to inhale. We're going to drop your shoulders. We're just going to kind of feel our body right now. So I want you to make sure that you are really engaging your glutes. I want you to feel your glutes engaged. I want you to bring your hips forward because this is going to help us with our balance as we roll down. Now we're going to start with our arms up high. Drop your shoulders and we're going to bring our arms out this way. We're going to bring it forward and really reach your arms keeping those hips forward. Now you should already feel your toes working. Now this is when we get into foot strengthening and ankle strengthening. And let's bring it all the way down. All the way down. Keep those hips forward. Stretch. Now if you need to bend your knees, it's fine. But I want you to really try to straighten those legs out. And then we're going to roll it up. But this time we're going to keep our hands pointing at the ground. And we're going to snake our back up, keeping those hips forward. All right, ready? We're going to do this two more times. And arms forward, use those toes. Use those glutes. Use those hips. Bring it all the way down. Slow, 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 slow. All the way down. And touch. You can go lower. That's great. If you can't, that's no big deal either. And we're going to snake it up just like this. And then drop those shoulders. Arms up high. One more time. And inhale. And exhale. Now you just breathe normally from here, and exhale, 
And remember when you exhale, I want you to really empty your lungs. Inhale here. Exhale. And let's snake that spine up all the way up, all the way up. Good. All right, so this next exercise is really good for your ankles. It's a really good stretch. So um, this is something you can do when you're, you know, at the office or at the home office, as it is right now during quarantine time. And um, all I want you to do is sit as straight as you can. Now, again, remember, you can put a yoga block under your bottom or a towel or whatever. And just drop your shoulders, sit up as straight as you can, make this into a, an ab exercise as well. And bring your, draw your abs back towards your spine to help really lift you up. Now we're going to just bring our toes back. Can I stretch? Do it for five seconds. And three, two, one. Then we're going to bring it forward. And really point your toes as much as you can. If you get a foot cramp, you can relax. But do try to keep that. And inhale. And exhale. Three, two, one. And you do this three times. Five, four, three, two, one, and five, four, three, two, one, and five, four, three, two, one, and five, four, three, two, one. Now, if you have lower back problems and this is starting to, you know, get to be a bit much, you can lean back a little bit, take a little rest. That's fine. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just change how we do the stretch. My socks are coming off. <laughs> and you're going to bring your feet out wide. Okay. Now, for those of you who don't have lower back issues, then sit up straight again. And we're going to bring your feet back for the stretch. Five, four, three, two, one, and point. Two, four, three, <laughs> two, one, and five, four. Three, two, one, and five, four, three, two, one, and five, four, three, two, one, and five, four, three, two, and one. All right, now we're going to bring our feet together and we're going to bring it on in. And five, four, three, two, one, and five, four, three, two, and one, and five. Four, three, two, one, and five, four, three, two, one, and five, four, three, two, one, and five, four, three, two.